Hello everyone, how's it going? Uh, this is Ryan here. Uh, I'm going to help you today with your export settings on your Premiere. Uh, I am currently using um, Premiere 5.5 and I think that it doesn't really matter what Premiere you're using if you're going to be exporting uh, Minecraft videos and then uploading them to YouTube. There is a setting that I use that you know I believe a lot of people are using and it's not exactly information that's easy to find on the internet. So today I'm going to show you what I do and what I use for my videos. So let's pretend like we've got a project and we're going to open up our Premiere here. As you can see my desktop is quite messy but that's not what today's video is all about. Um, that's for another video. So let's just pick one of my latest videos I'm working on now. Um, I'm working on my episode 7 for the Kindred server. Um, if you want to see an example of any of my videos uh, you can see them on my channel. I've got lots of good stuff there for you to check out. So what are we doing? So the first thing we want to do is when we are dragging and dropping our, our, uh, our Fraps videos or our Dextroy videos into our Kindred, uh, or sorry, into our, uh, into our project manager here, um, you want to create a, a setting. You want to create a timeline from the videos, from the video codec that you're using or not like the videos, you, the actual videos you're using. So here's a good example, okay? So let's just create a new project, okay? So let's go new project. There we go. So the first thing that comes up is it's gonna ask us in what location we want to save our videos in. So I've already selected that. You can select, make sure you select which, in what directory you wanna save your, you know, your project in and where, you know, where your movies are gonna go. So for right now, we're going to tell it to go in our episode 7 folder, and we're going to give it a name test for now, because we're just we're doing a test, right? So the next selection that's going to come up now, hopefully any second to now. Oh, I've got a call here. Let's just cancel that for a second here. So the next video we have, or sorry, the next thing we have going on here is a new sequence. So this right here is going, you're, you're going to tell it, um, you know, what, you know what what do you want your time code to be what do, what do you want your timeline to be and we're just gonna hit cancel on this and we're gonna use the the video that we've gotten from our fraps or our dextroy and we're gonna use those codec settings for our timeline so on this selection here we're just gonna hit cancel okay and don't worry we're about to solve that problem here in a second so I don't have the fastest computer there we go so let's just grab so we've made we've made we've done some recording. Let's grab one of those videos right now and pop them in. So let's go file open. See, I actually just drag and drop normally. So let's go. Where's file? Let's just. I think you double click. Double click. There you go. Boom. So let's just grab a video, okay? And let's say this is one of the videos you've recorded here, and we're gonna click open. Now I should put it right as, right into our project window here, and you can see that we have no sequence here. What we're going to do is we're going to right click one of the, our videos here. We're going to go right click. Anytime now, right click. Right click. There we go. And we're going to go we're going to go new sequence from clip, okay? Now that's going to take all our all our settings from our video and put it right into our timeline. So, you know, things are going to you're going to be able to watch the video really easily. The the, the time is going to be rendered for you. And there we go. So I think recording and, play, and playing with Premiere at the same time, I don't think my computer is that good. So this is why, uh, this is if you, if you don't have a good computer like me, you're going to love this video because I'm going to show you how you can still get good quality videos with not such a great computer. So, uh, so now we've got our sequence here. And let's say that we've done all our editing. We've put new clips in. And you don't have to keep doing a new sequence from clip. We can just double click again, drag another video in, and our timeline is already ready and set to go. Okay? So now let's pretend like we're exporting this. So let's go to File, and we're going to go down to Export, and we're going to go Export Media. And this is where the settings are going to come in that we're going to talk about here. Perfect, that loaded pretty good and a pretty good speed there. So uh, we're going to look at our output settings here, and we're going to look at our source settings. I'm going to pick something random here so we don't see what my default is. Let's go, let's just pick that. Does that take? back to the old settings let's try going to anything let's just go to go to mpeg or something perfect 
Now let's go back to this setting here and hopefully it won't have my old settings still in there. Perfect, it doesn't. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do when you open up your export settings is you're gonna pick the format H.264. Now this is the format I used, okay? And you're gonna make yourself a preset. You're gonna go to um, custom, custom preset, and you're gonna make a you're gonna make a preset here. So you're gonna go, how do we save a preset here? So let's go. How do we give it a name? I think we just click Save Preset. Perfect. Here we go. So we click Save Preset, and let's give this uh, a test name. We'll go Test of Test. Okay, Test of Test Test Test. So now we are going to we're going to go down to our settings here. So we're going to look, the first thing we're going to look at is our resolution. So our resolution is the resolution we want for YouTube. So this is going to be your export settings to YouTube. Now. I, I, run, I only upload at 720p because again, my upload speed isn't great and my computer isn't fantastic either. So I want to be able to do that within a good amount of time. So if I export in the highest quality, it'll take forever. So uh, 720p is 120 or sorry, 1280 pixels by 720. And I believe, uh, what is 1080p? Let's... Uh, Let's look at here. 1080p is 1980, I believe. Let's just Google it. We'll Google it together here. So what is 1080p? 1080p, uh, 1080p resolution. 1080p resolution is 1920 by 1080. So if you want to upload in, um, in that resolution, you just change your resolution right here to that. And you can uh, make sure that your constraint proportions are on and you'll see that that's correct. Now make sure you have NTSC uh, selected and not PAL. Now here's the, the key part here. Now I believe the default setting is I think 60 frames per second or something like that. You want to make sure that the frame rate that you record in is the frame rate that you're exporting in. Okay so if we look at my fraps here what am I currently recording in? I'm recur currently recording in 30 frames per second right? So I want to make sure that my frame rate is the same as my, uh, my, 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 my recording is the same as my export setting. So I have 30 and 30, so that's good, right? So if you want to have your 60 FPS, obviously you got to record in 60 FPS and then export in 60 FPS. Makes sense, right? So let's go down here. None of this needs to get changed. And we'll go down to, actually, let's just um, go to my settings here. Um, I think this one's mine or is this one mine? <laughs> This one mine? I think this one's mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, or is it this one? Let's take a look. I've made two of them and played or played around with both settings, so I think that one's it, yeah. Yeah, I think, or is it this one? Okay, so let's just go with this one. It doesn't matter, either one. They're both good. So, another thing we need to correct is the render distance at max depth. Now, this is these two settings here. So, render at max depth and your use maximum render quality. That's gonna increase the size of your file by a lot. Um, I don't really notice a difference whether I'm, um, whether I'm with, when I'm exporting with either use maximum render quality and maximum depth. I don't notice a huge difference, so that's something that you'll have to decide when you, when you export your video, whether you want that selected or not. And I don't think it actually tells you how much more, how much, it doesn't actually tell you on the spot how much bigger size it'll be. So I keep that off. You can keep that off if you want. Now, the next setting we're gonna look at is bit rate. Now, this is the most important one here. So uh, you're just gonna put this on one pass. Now, basically that this one just, you're basically saying, I only want you to, um, I only want you to render my video once. I don't want you to go over it twice. Okay, so you won't notice any difference. Put that on one pass. Now the bit rate is where I don't have a great computer, so I have my bit rate low. Okay, so that's the, the overall quality of your video. So in order to keep my video size really small, I have my bit rate small. So I usually have this around six and six. Sometimes I have it at five. So if you have a good computer and your upload is good and you know, I would suggest probably around 12. Um, but again, you're going to increase your file size. So if you look at the bottom here, it's giving us an estimated file size at 520. Now look at the difference here. When I bring this back down to 5, and I bring this back down to 5, okay, you'll notice how it almost doubles the file size, okay? So 
you ha you're just gonna have to decide what what kind of video quality, what kind of computer do I have, what kind of video quality do I want. So if you can you can go ahead and look, you can pan over and look at my videos and see, you know what my quality is like. And those videos you're gonna be seeing are gonna be at the bit rate at six and six. So if you want a little bit higher quality but higher fi file size, maybe change it to 10 or 12, and that's sort of something you're going to have to play with on your own. So now that we have that figured out, um, we want to make sure that our output settings here, so this is our source file, okay? So this is the file, uh, our source file over here, and this is what we're going to be exporting on, okay? So we have our, we have it on, we have it on 720p, which is 1280 by 720. We have uh, 30 frames per second. We have progressive. We have that's just audio AAC, and I leave mine at at nine at uh, at 192. I don't notice any different whether I go lower or higher. Um, actually, I do notice if I go lower. Sorry, if I if whether I go higher. Now I have a I have a really good microphone. It's a it's a Blue Yeti. Now I've increased this a little bit and and listened to it, and it's really not that much different. So this is another one of those options. It's up to you. I leave it at default, which is 192. And that's another audio setting there. And of course, you're going to want to have stereo. That's a, a no-brainer. No and then this is this VBR pass that we talked about earlier. Uh, I have it on one pass. Now, this target is what we were looking at here. This is what this is occurring to our bit rate here. So I have my target at 5 and 5. Now, sometimes I do it at 6 and 6, depending on how long my video is. But again, that's something you're going to decide. So you'll see our target is 5 and our max is 5. Now, this... Now, this is the best settings I've found for YouTube. Now, uh, it keeps your file size low. Uh, it, it keeps, um, you know, it keeps your video quality quite good. And another way we can, uh, and when you pick all these settings, make sure you to, you go up here and save your settings because the next time you come to export your video, um, I, bl I, I believe on most of them that you, you won't have the, those same settings back up. So, um, another thing you might want to be careful of is your make sure your widescreen is on whatever you, you're playing with. I don't think you're going to be using standard because that's like old television looking style. So um, believe, make sure that you're on 16.9. Make sure you're on progressive. Now the audio settings here, I, again, I just keep them default. You can look at what I have here and uh, compare it with yours. And that is all. So the last thing we want to do is give our, our file, give our give it a file name. So and make sure, of course, you have export video and export audio. So let's give it a give it a, to where it's going to save this exported file to. So it actually went back to uh, another folder I had before, and it didn't go to the correct folder. So sometimes we don't want to. Sometimes I've exported it and been like, "Where did the file go? I don't know where it went." And uh, so make sure you you tell it where to go. So let's go to uh, I made MC Pre. So we want to go to this folder here. We go save. And I think you can change the file name too as well. So let's change the file name actually as well. So we'll just go test of test. Okay, and we'll go save. And then there you go. And then you'll see here that our output has changed as well to our, the correct folder now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I really appreciate if you have any comments at all, just leave them at the bottom. If you've sound, you found a setting on here that uh, you know, you'd like to change. Uh, one more thing here on the bottom as well. Make sure that uh, you have uh, this selected. So because I only have one clip in here, it doesn't say entire sequence, but you should see three settings here. You see entire sequence, custom, and entire clip. I always put it on entire sequence, and that just makes sure that I get from, from the, the back end of my timeline to the front, sorry, to the front end of the, my timeline to the back end of the timeline. I'm grabbing the whole thing. So um, yeah, so make sure that's set to entire entire sequence. And yeah, so again, I appreciate for you guys watching. I've got lots of uh, lots of other videos on my channel, um, having fun, messing around in Minecraft. We have a single multiplayer Minecraft series that you guys can check out here on the left and here on the right. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.